Hello Blender Heads, my name is Nahuatl Lich, I am speaking to you from Buenos Aires, Argentina. In this video tutorial, or bit, quick video tip, I'm going to show you how to use this uh, interesting option called Cut Off under the Max Pressure mode. And uh, first I'm going to try to display more or less what, is, what it is, and then i show you an example, and hopefully, hopefully, we are going to, some of you, may got or may get some new interesting ideas about how to use this interesting option that actually was added on the Blender 2.72 uh, with other many uh, great tools on the paint uh, and the texture paint um, mode but this one in particular was uh, some kind of avoiding me and today I recognize or I, I realize how to use it and what was it this done so I went to probably put here a number on the time of the video where I show the example but first I'm going to try to display what this is and and, and what this is basically how does this work and uh, what you are going what you're seeing here is this simple scene where I used to get this simple uh, brush stamp these are so these are some some cones with different height an orthographic camera and then I did a normalize uh, node to get the set value normalize and get this black and white image to get uh, the the height of the spikes but we're going to see more about this later first I went to jump to the uh, demo pincel and what I'm going to see here is more or less I'm going to try to display you how this works first under texture pane we have the traditional option that is um, create mesh, I thought it's going to take a second it's not simply me, load this place, I don't care okay First we have, uh, I'm going to, to use rain. Uh, we have our traditional uh, radius and strength. We're going to focus on radius to this sample, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you the, the rest. Okay. So if we paint using the radius, we're going to see. Hopefully. Everything and there is this. Ah, there we go. Lazy mouse on. If I use pressure and size, sorry, we're going to see that more than I pressure the pen, more than it grows. Okay. Now, if I select this brush we are going to get this what is happening here i'm going to show you with this a uh, more uh, bigger brush that i uh, <laughs> more or less set up so the idea with the size and the pressure is something like this we have this very very little tiny almost invisible brush and when we are painting we pull down the pen and add some strength and this makes our brush grow or shrink okay this is uh, what this um, extra strength feature does the same with the with, with the opacity only applies on the overall opacity of the brush the cut up off option works a bit differently when you set up a texture mask you uh, have the possibility to enable this cut off or ramp which uh, with option that we are not going to see but the interesting one here is cut off uh, enable to to be used if you set the same on their texture you are not going to see it this is because texture is to trans to transfer this particular texture into the canvas and texture mask it to, is uh, made to be used as a, a brush a brush stamp okay so these are uh, texture texture mask and texture are two different completely different things 
Now, what is going to happen once I uh, set up or turn on cut off is, as I said, something a bit different. The brush size is not going to change because it's not the property that we are uh, modifying, although we can use it too. We can use a uh, size control by, control by pressure and a cut off option. But in this case, I only want to use the cut up op option. So this is going to work like this. If I don't do any pressure, the brush will stand in the air. But as long as when I start to put some pressure on the pen, this is what's going to happen. The brush is going to stroke or imprint into the surface. And this is the thing. This cut up cut off option allowed us to set up this stamp and use our brush as a real um, hair brush. Okay. So I can set up many many points or many different gradients. And if I don't do pressure, the gradient is going to be the dark the brightest color and when I start doing more and more, and more pressure, I'm go it's going to be imprinting the rest of the gradient. Like this. No pressure, pressure. And you can see how the pattern is totally changing from this to this. Okay, this was uh, size pressure. And this is with this option of cut off. So again, if you understand this, we can I can we can see again the uh, first scene, and this is why I have these uh, points of these cones set up to get this 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 uh, Seth map Seth map to get the uh, proper gradient to do some uh, we can say hairstyle brush. So we're are going to use it and um, this in this particular um, test scene. Well, we're going to use a face. Why not? Okay, it's not the best face of all, but it's going to work for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to set up a texture mask as my hairbrush, which, as you can see, does not work well because. We also need to set up to be applying. We also need to turn cut off. But we're going to lay it off by now. And we're going to grow this a bit more. Also, you can see that it's doing some strange thing here. And this is because. This is set to the stroke to space. If we want to do something like this with a stamp so scattered, we need to do some more tidy space option. And you start to see that the thing is becoming slower, so I'm going also to turn on the smooth stroke to have a bit more of control. Also, I'm going to turn on off a strength and, and radius because, as I said, we're going to control the thickness of the strands using this individual gradient like I would want to to do and you can see that nothing happens and this is because I got it off I got it off when I set up a cutoff to the pressure you can see the difference okay this is off and this is on so what I'm going to do is to try to paint some small hairs but mm, doesn't look nice right uh, the problem is that this is a texture mask so in this area it's going to paint white because the mask is setting um, the gradient is full and it's painting the color that I have here. So also I'm going to set now the texture to be the same of the hair. 
so if I paint I had the problem that, that I had before so also set the texture to view plane and now we start to have some uh, volume this is because there are many 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 stamps put one over one all over all <laughs> over the other one and we get this some kind of shading and now we can start doing some hair that as I see is too too small so it's not going to be look great so I'm going to go to ah that is why it was so slow I was painting on both symmetries Now we're going. I want the sun strength. Uh, need some practice to get on it. But the idea is more or less what are you seeing here. And the idea of the cutoff is to use the gradient of the tool to ah, it's really really difficult to to repaint like this <laughs> this is because my Wacom properties were a bit off so this panel is going to be very very useful if you try to do this As you can see here, I'm suck at the, I, I'm suck I, at painting. My main <laughs> skill is modeling. But I guess you get the idea. Other other places where this can be useful is to some grass. Nice. I'm sorry if I stop speaking, but I need to concentrate and control the control the <laughs> the brush. But yes, more or less as. I think the idea is I guess the idea is there uh, using the well, as I said the gradient to control the input of the painting. Unfortunately, this tool only works with uh, pressure input devices like Wacom. Or other stylus pen, so it's going to be a bit difficult if you're using a mouse to use this because it won't work at all. But uh, yeah, this work, these tools work like this. Um, a ramp is more or less the same, but it focus it gets focused on more on the gradient to do the stamp than the. Uh, example before uh, I showed you before with uh, this <coughs> kind of hairs. I need to s find some use for this uh, ramp option, uh, but with this cutoff you can grow uh, grow grass <laughs> on someone's hair. So I think this. Okay, now, now I'm playing a bit, but there are no more interesting info to add. Oh yes, there is more inter interesting info to add. I'm going to do with some time a bit a bit more practice a uh, tutorial series about the texture uh, paint uh, tools. So um, if you want to see what I, are these videos about, 
um, just subscribe I going to upload it in this account on YouTube um, here it is my quick punk half head grass hair <laughs> draw done using the cut off option inside the painting texture module inside blender I hope that this is or I hope actually that this wasn't confusing at all and um, give it a try to this tool if you have a pen it's really really handy and really interesting to to play a bit uh, thank you and um, see you next time bye